This is just really insane. It is literally stuck. You're not ready for this. Well, this doesn't look very good. We dodged that bullet. Well, this is what we have here for like the last three days. That's what we've had is rain. Rain, rain. Uh, actually, yeah, pretty much off and on. I was going to say, it hasn't rained that, that much, but I don't know. We probably had close to three inches now. Yeah, the up. river is getting very high, so, of course, Lawrence is a little worried now that everything's planted on the river bottom. The worst thing that could happen is that the river would get out. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I think it's supposed to stop tomorrow, so... We, um, we just haven't been able to do much this week other than stuff in the house and went to our friend Jimmy's and bought more tack because we needed that, right? <laughs> we did. We needed some rains and such. And um, so now we're heading to town to run a couple more errands in the rain. We did get to go to Jim's yesterday for a little short practice for Austin. It was raining then too, <laughs> but um, that went really well. And hopefully the weather's going to be good enough for us to go practice again this weekend and get out and stretch our legs and stretch the horse's legs. Well, the horses are in and out of the barn. They have access to the barn, so. And Rip, uh, update, Rip update. That's what I haven't done. Rip is doing much better. He's, I mean, I would say he's back to a norm, normal self. Everything's everything's going in and coming out <laughs> the way it should so uh, really not exactly sure what happened there other than obviously a colic could have been a lot worse so very happy about that situation and yeah okay one minute 56 seconds so we're in town and here's a good picture of the river and she is muddy, muddy and full. This is just really insane, y'all. On the drive home, it's like flooding around here. The fields were full. I mean, this has all happened. We left less than two hours ago and it was not raining like this in town. This is bad. It's rained almost two inches. It's rained almost two, right at two inches since we left home less than two hours ago. Lawrence said he was up at our moss farm and um, trying to kill some groundhogs and it was just misting and then it just kind of started and got heavier and heavier and it just hasn't stopped. I guess it's just sitting right over this area right here. Oh, oh, my gosh. We well, are swimming in the pool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh boy, y'all. Well, we'll see. Wait. See how this goes. Yikes. Everything's um, washing. Washing bad. Turned out to be a good night to make a big pot of vegetable soup. It doesn't seem like a summer thing, and I guess it's not, but it's a rainy. <laughs> it's 60. What is it? It's 60. Well, 67. Rainy. Not typical summer weather, so not typical summer food. Yum. Dick said, please let me have a bowl of that. Please let me have something around here. What's a puppy got to do to get something? Something. <laughs> Y'all, he's getting so big, I just can't get over how big he's getting. Gosh, look at how big he is. Ugh. Okay, I'll, you can put it on that. I'm trying to get my foot out. My foot is literally stuck. Okay, okay come on, foot. It is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing the best I can. Here. 
hot, it's humid, it's muddy to beat the band. We couldn't pull in here, so we hand walked them out. Good job, good job. Okay. Woo! Hey, kids. Wick up. <laughs> oh, boy. Got extra help today. Our friend Brantley is here. Bless her heart. We always end up putting her to work. Is that it? Good job. Thank you, Brantley. <laughs> I'm going to gate balls for a minute. Um, they only got to put one in the bull lot. I told them when we pulled up here, we got to look out because it's wasp season again, y'all. It's wasp season. I haven't seen many yet, but they'll be here. They always are. Got dirt all over me. Hey, lady. Well, also pumping. pumping. Oh my gosh! We took the big pump out so we'd have room for minerals. So now we got this little Mickey Mouse thing. Oh, this is, this is silly. Okay, y'all, it, um, it's been kind of a strange few days. The weather's been icky. We've had almost five inches of rain over the last, I don't know, four days. We were supposed to have practice yesterday. It got rained out at the last minute. So we ended up having a relaxing day. Um, a nice break, honestly. And we went to a local place. <laughs> it's called Aunt Millie's. If you're from around here, it's, it's like locally famous for its pizza. Best pizza I've ever had. And um, banana splits. And we got the banana split. And we've only done that once. And the kids were little. And they didn't even remember. And, um... Hold on, I got traffic coming up here. Traffic as in a hunter, <laughs> one of our friends on his four wheeler. Anyway, um, and this banana split is literally as big as your head. Bigger, bigger. I'll show a picture. And I posted it online. <laughs> the fact is we finished it, y'all. It is easily enough for six to eight people. The four of us ate it all. And it was so good. So 
so that was a fun treat and today's been pretty slow too so I'm getting a walk in honestly I haven't been doing the best I kind of got got out of the habit of getting my walk in I've been trying to get my workouts in a few times a week at least three to five but um wasn't always hitting my steps so trying to get back at it I feel better about all the things <laughs> and I can promise you all the ice cream I ate yesterday well we're just letting it go because we still got to live y'all we still got to live and enjoy good things like banana splits once every 10 years. <laughs> this is a beautiful sight. Lawrence is mowing the grass for me. I didn't know if it was too wet, but evidently it's not. So I've been pulling a few weeds. Look what's blooming. I don't know what this variety is called, but they're so pretty to me. Day lilies and uh, weeds, catmint. Uh, more butterfly, uh, well, they're, um, what do you call these? Snowball bushes. Woo! I think they're going to fill in nicely. And I was just looking, see that right there? I don't even know what that is. I planted that one, and I think that's the same thing a few years ago when I thought they were going to die, and I don't even remember what they are. And I'm afraid that's a bad spot, so I might have to move it. But, um, look, I've got one bloom on this. <laughs> I mean, it bloomed out early, of course, and now that's when this one showed up. I think I need to trim it. It's like going way up there. Anyway, I just enjoy walking around, looking at the things. Makes me happy. Got lots of stuff coming in here. Those are about to pop. Those are about to pop. And those are about to pop. Those are pretty too, right? Okay, pasta's going crazy. Fern, I thought was dead. It's not. Begonias, oh my, look what I've done. Killed the ivy. And I'm steadily, kill oh, that is so dry. Okay, let me give you a drink. I have a tendency to forget about this. Yep. That's what happened last year, and they, everything I had in it died. I had different stuff. I had herbs. I tried that. Yeah. I'll show you my herb garden in a second. It's doing lovely. Okay, are you ready for this? You're not ready for this. This is my herb garden. This is what we have. We have dead cilantro. I already killed the oregano and the thyme, or whatever it was. Oh well, I just can't, y'all. I just can't. I might as well just put it out of its misery. I just can't remember. I just can't remember to water these things. I don't know why. I have problems. So, we'll just let that be. Luckily, this doesn't need a lot of water. But maybe a little bit. And he's all... Gotta go out here and pick up something. It just dropped. Uh, so he just filled out the sprayer. He is going down what we call our moss bottom. Well, not the bottom, the top actually. <laughs> He's spraying burn down on the barley field so we can spray, I mean, so we can seed. The words are not coming to me, so we can seed beans. That's the plan this week. If the weather cooperates, we are under a severe weather advisory for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. I do see clouds coming in. Just watched a little clip from a weather thingamajiggy on my phone. And um, we're, we're in a whole swath in the mid-Atlantic that could see 70 mile an hour winds, possible strong hail, a very low risk of tornadoes. So I told Austin after I I've been on the computer all day. It's already like two something. After I get my workout in, we will 
probably bring the horses in in a little while. I don't want them outside if it's gonna be bad. I got Wesley dropped off at church this morning, first thing. So he is heading to the mountains of Virginia. He's gonna be right on the Kentucky line in Wise, Virginia at youth camp. So he's gonna be there all week. Austin is going to gyms, but because of the weather, we're postponing it a couple days. It's supposed to be kind of yucky today and tomorrow. So she's gonna go for the latter part of the week and maybe we're gonna be able to get some seed in the ground. We'll see. This is what this is what I see right now. Looks like potential for something to build up. Look at my um, hydrangea, y'all. I love these hydrangea. They're called um, I can't remember the exact variety. It's a lace cap variety. I just love them. And it's the kind that you don't prune back. It grows off of old growth comes back off of old growth. So anyway, I've had these for years and years. Took them a long time to get any size to them, but they finally have. How are you today, Bonnie? <laughs> so pretty. Pretty girl. Okay, um, since the storm is coming, he finished up spraying. He said we need to get over here and get this auger down just in case there is high wind because that would be horrible. That would be a horrible projectile and that thing could get twisted up. And anyway, so we're getting ready to do that. It is warm, isn't it? It's warm, warm, very warm. B-A-R-M. All caps. <laughs> All caps. Oh, me. Well, this doesn't look very good. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with old gray? <laughs> okay. Sounds great. <laughs> It's close to the power line. <laughs> you want me to do it? The drag here is all tangled up, and that's um, evidently he wants to work on it right now. Tight as a tick. Okay, we got that one, but I <laughs> got the rest. The one in the middle is messed up, but it's run through it, so I don't know what to do about that. Came up here to put my truck under the barn. <laughs> We're gonna move the tractor, the tractor won't start. So anyway, it's pulled up as far as we can get it. There's a possibility for an inch and a half hail. I mean, like you said, usually they blow stuff up like this and it, nothing happens, but the day that I don't actually take some precautions, we'll get a bad storm. Now we're gonna get the horses and bring them up so they'll be next to the barn, just in case. Okay, <laughs> I should have videoed that. They ran up there. We painted them behind the mule and they just ran up there to the water. Glad to have all that done. We're prepared as we can be. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't do anything. That would be the best case scenario. Exciting day, exciting day, y'all. So we just, just got this. From the Ups Man. This beautiful six quart ice cream maker 
it's wood nostalgia definitely nostalgia here um I'm so excited. I used to have, I've had electric ice cream makers. So, you know, we have that, I have that, um, like two and a half quart or four quart, two and a half quart, whatever it is. It's small. Two quart, two and a half quart. Okay. Stop, Mayor. Uh, Cuisinart tabletop countertop ice cream maker. And I love that. And I've, I've been using it some more this summer, but I really wanted something bigger to be able to make a big batch specifically for July 4th coming up. <laughs> and um, so I got online because I had one and a couple years ago it broke, the motor died, that was it, kaput, and that's when I bought the other one. But I knew they were expensive, but so I got online last week and I did a search and lo and behold, these suckers are on sale at Home Depot right now for $60. It was either 60 or 69, whatever, really good price for a really nice electric ice cream maker. So if anybody's interested in that, I'll put the link. Um, I mean, I'm not, there's no, there's no commission or anything, <laughs> but if somebody out there wants one, I want to help you get one. So I'll put the link in the description um, where I found it. All right, stay tuned. Ice cream coming up in the next few days. I got to get some rock salt. I got to get some more cream. I got to get some half and half. I got to get some ice, all the things. We don't even have enough ice in our freezer for our glasses at supper half the time. So I definitely have to buy ice for this, but worth it. Who's the cutest puppy? See, my name is Duke. That's who. All right, y'all, we're out getting a walk in. After supper, sun's going down. I don't know if it's gonna do anything or not. Woo! Go boys, go. And girl, forgot Claire's in the mix. I don't know where Bonnie is. She must have tagged out. <laughs> there she is. She was waiting. She said, it's too hot. And I'm too old, Ma. It's too hot and I'm getting too old. So I'll just wait back here at home for you. <laughs> okay y'all well light of day absolutely nothing not a drop of rain no wind gust <laughs> we missed we missed that we dodged that bullet that's what i'm trying to say so that's good i wouldn't say it necessarily feels cooler though it's still pretty warm and he's off just got him hooked up He's heading to get bean seed, and I reckon we're gonna be we're gonna be planting soybeans this afternoon. Get the rest of them in the ground, so that'll be good. And then hopefully we're going to practice this afternoon and going to drop off Austin for a few days at Jim's for for an impromptu horse camp. I know she's excited. So that is what's on the agenda today. We'll see. We'll see how it goes.